Hello, carnivores. Today we're at the Benton Franklin County Fair, the best week of summer. We're grabbing the bull by the horns and telling you a story about where your meat comes from. So go ahead, sit back, grab yourself some popcorn. A shout out to the boys in blue for keeping us safe. And the Knudsen brothers singing you some music. We'll be at the market stock sale in the morning. It's going to Knudsen's Meats. Send that pig our way. Over 33 pigs from the Benton Franklin County Fair. And today we're going to tell you the story about how we make our hams and bacons right here at Knudsen's Meats. For starters, we're using a brand new brine pump we got from Walton. It's called a Lisa. Here's my buddy Frank welding a custom gun holder for my pumping gun. Down below is our brine. So here's how we make our brine at Knudsen's Meats. We're gonna start with a little bit of liquid smoke and then I use five cups of the maple sugar cure. Next, we'll add some water and whisk away to make sure we get a nice solution for our brine. Now here's where I'm gonna be keeping my clean brine solution. Some of that brine will seep through on the bottom of my brine pump table and why there's a nice slab of bacon. If you don't know where the bacon comes from, make sure you talk to Corey, our meat cutter, and check out our video on how we cut up pigs. So there's a little shot of how the brine pump works and now we got those bacons at the station. I learned this from my Papa Steve, our bacon expert. We're gonna be going ahead with that gun and going on each side of those bacons and injecting those bacons with the cure. Easy enough. Here's a picture of what the bacon looked like before we separated the spare ribs from the fresh side pork. And after we've taken our time and injected it very well on the top side, we'll go to the bottom side and do the same thing. Now you can take bacon and let it sit in a solution for a few days in a lug. I just saw it on the Bearded Butchers. This is how we do it. Boom, I got a bacon hook and now we're throwing it in our IMAX Pro Smoker. And this is our program for how we dry, smoke, and cook the bacon to the desired temperature. It takes about four and a half to five hours. And voila, mmm, bacon. Now here's Edith and she's sharpening up our old globe bacon slicer, slicing up all that bacon. And when you're at the fair, you might as well enjoy a bacon wrapped hot dog. So there's more to the story than just bacons today. We're gonna be talking about hams. That's right. So Corey's going ahead and cutting the ham away from the sirloin on the pig. I want to dedicate this ham pumping to my science teacher, Mr. Gregor. He was our eighth grade science teacher. We learned all about muscle groups and bone structure. This muscle I'm starting out on is called the semi-membranous muscle. Very next door neighbor to the semi-tendinosis muscle. Um, these particular muscle groups also correspond to a top round steak of beef. Same muscle groups. And of course, Mr. Renz. My high school FFA agricultural meat teacher, want to shout out to him as well for learning all those muscle groups. You can see the musculature of a pork, and it also corresponds to the same exact muscles that are in our very own human body. Kind of makes you look at your ham or any steak a little bit differently when you know we have these very same muscle groups on our own body. So our ham is really all pumped up full of that maple sugar cure brine and now we're going to be netting the ham. And just like that, we have a netted ham that's ready for the smoker. We're going to be loading those up on a truck and getting ready to put him into our new pro smoker and roaster oven that we purchased from Wisconsin. Got a video on our trip to Wisconsin. If you want to learn more about the pro smoker and roasters, make sure you check that out. 
So Felicia's gonna go ahead and be putting a temperature probe inside one of the hams. And we're gonna go ahead and start the ham program on the pro smoker and roaster. Thank you, Felicia, so much. She's in charge of our custom processing, making sure we get your orders right. So this is the program for how we smoke our hams here at Knutson's. You can see it's quite a bit longer, almost 13 hours, and we have different cycles of smoke and cook and dry to make sure that that ham has a nice color when it comes out of the smoker and that it is fully cooked for you to enjoy. So this is a story of the fair pigs from the Benton Franklin County pair from being raised to slaughtered to how we make our hams and bacons here at Knudsen's Meats. We want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe for more Carnivorian content.